Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to my Shea Lama restaurant renovation. And if you're returning, welcome back. And this is part of a battle collab once again arranged by Havana Sims. And the Shea Lama restaurant has been the bougie spot to go for fine dining. That was until a patron found a rat tail in their soup. The owner has decided to renovate and give it an industrial vibe to compete with other restaurants and she's enlisted our help. We had to keep the shape of the build, but we could change lots of other things. We had to have a fireplace, it needed a bar and an activity game or games, and we had to maintain it as a restaurant and we couldn't use my first pet stuff or vampires and um, you can see I was deleting some things and starting here there are other simmers included in this uh, collab participating in this collab Havana Sims herself of course Carrie plays hip hip Renee Ashuria bubbly Zen and Bree simulated I will have a link to the playlist down below as soon as I have it available now you can see one of the things I did is I removed the sort of step down area and the main reason I did that was because I decided to add a basement to this build as I often do to put the uh, games area down there. That was part of the things that part of the one of the things that was required for this build. Now I'll have to do full disclosure industrial vibe i did my best it's not really something that i probably do that much and i did do this so that it was something that i plan on using in my game so i i sort of went with the spirit of it but it's probably not fully industrial but you know i have play tested it a little bit i didn't have a lot of time to do an extensive play test but i did actually come over and made sure that my sims were able to order their food and all that stuff I actually changed a couple of things as a result of that but the version on the gallery is the one that was uh, after i had played with it a couple of times so um so here because i took I raised the uh, floor up, but which, like I said, I was debating whether to do that, but because I wanted to add a basement, I couldn't add the basement with it down, with it out, with it sunken. Uh, I had to, I wanted to define the space, but not with like those gold ropes, which I left one there accidentally, but I do fix that later. So here I am adding my basement. I'm starting from outside of the basement footprint so that it doesn't, uh, you know, have the um, landscaping raise up to cover the foundation. That is the trick that you do or else another thing you can do is you can lower the foundation and then raise it back up but I didn't want to do that I chose the other way in the end I actually the basement is bigger than this but you know whatever <laughs> I had to do it to get it to work so I just left it there I was going to actually bring it in you can bring it in if you start from outside and then bring it in to meet the walls it's fine so here <laughs> we're back over to the bar area I used the wall topper from Get Famous, which then I used that in the other spots. I didn't actually change the floor plan of the main floor, pretty much not at all. I left the bar where it was. I left the back area, but I did change the bar. I figured that this is the bar, well, this is just a bar that actually you unlock in the uh, cooking, the mixology career, and it goes with the counters and stuff that were already in the bathroom. It's right in the bathroom, in the kitchen area, which I actually thought seemed kind of industrial, like the stainless steel and stuff like that. And so I brought that into the bar area, but normally you'd have to be in either use cheats or be in that career to get it to work. So I was thinking of putting more counters there because I got rid of all the little white tables pretty much everywhere that I could see them. <laughs> I got rid of them. I put a real closet in so that there's a woohoo location because you know I like to have those in the builds where they had instead had like a built-in closet with uh, decor items. I just I decided to do that instead and there used to be some dividers there between the bar and the rest but I just I would like I like an open you know the less things in the way the more likely the sims are not going to have routing issues so I try and keep that in mind when I'm building and there I changed my stairs around I was thinking of flipping it around and then having some walkway to get over to this area here which is where I decide to put my fireplace which is actually one of two fireplaces in this build not that was my intention in the first place but this is where I put the fireplace and I did initially have this um, with the uh, get famous ropes so you had to go in but when I went to actually play test this you had to hire a bouncer <laughs> to get anyone for it to really work so I just and I put I end up putting a table up here I thought well you know nice VIP area with its own little private table and all that stuff but yeah it didn't work <laughs> so I took that out which I didn't afterwards after I had play tested it so I don't think I even show me putting that in there you'll just see it up here because I figured well it's not going to be there in the end because it's not really a feature that works with the restaurants from what I could tell so um 
but I get that up there later. I just started it there, but didn't finish it there. So here I used, because of the, I was just trying to go for a sort of regular restaurant type tables. This is from Restaurant Pack, but the actual chairs are from the City Living. But I thought they just sort of kind of went with that vibe. And then over here, instead of that little white table, I used those again, those counters that are stainless steel, which I thought was a better fit for industrial vibe. I did put a couple of like those decor items on these tables here, but I didn't do them anywhere else. Mainly because if you want to actually go and have, uh, you know, get a birthday cake when you're at a restaurant, I've heard there can be some issues with decor items on the table. So I just figured... You know, it's such a small touch, it was just easier not to bother with it. So I leave these tables plain and put essentially the decorations around. Like, I change these plants that are here, but I do keep plants. I keep sort of the garden aspect, but I just change it out from what they have. I just match the table and chairs in this area from the other area too. Where the kitchen was open before, I wanted to keep that sort of openness but instead have windows so you looked into it but it wasn't actually there so you don't like get the steam and stuff like in real life you getting into the where you're eating you probably don't really want that but it's nice to be able to see into the kitchen and see what they're doing especially with the backstory of the rat tail in in the food you probably want to keep that open it's actually surprising that that would happen because the kitchen was open like on the one side it was completely open and on the other side it was like glass too so I kept the sort of openness in terms of that you can see into when they're cooking. And I don't know what happened there. It got dark all of a sudden when I added those candles. But it looked pretty, when I was taking the pictures and was in there in the daytime, it seemed pretty bright. So I'm not sure. Uh, it seems bright enough. And those, the flower for sure is uh, from Island Living. The plant is not. And so there's me adding the stairs downstairs <laughs> and uh, the half wall there, the same with the topper, just to keep some consistency, consistency, I should say. And then I put the same stairs. These stairs are from get to work and they're like, you know, I figured that went with this sort of industrial feel and I changed the door there. The door was probably okay, but I just wanted to make something different. I don't change it everywhere because for the most part, I actually leave the windows and the doors because this is like a full like, very tall building because it's tall walls on the second and the main floor my basement is cozy it's only uh, like short walls down there and I did that on purpose I kind of just wanted it like that but uh, these are very tall I noticed when I placed it in the world it like just stands out like a sore thumb when I was building it I don't think I would leave it on the lot that I had it on because it just looks a bit odd because it's so tall I ha currently have it in Oasis Springs, which I will probably place it in Oasis Springs because I don't probably need the museum. Uh, and I know in Drifter, that's where you place any restaurant that you want where the museum in Oasis Springs is. So I probably will place that there. And so here's my fireplace, my cozy area with some mirrors and a picture and some, and this is, and uh, you know, just the couch chairs. So somewhere cozy to go when you wanna sit. And that area there that I sort of cut out was where I put the VIP rope thing, which I got rid of later. And the bathroom, I just kind of left it mostly. I changed the toilets and I changed the mirrors. That was the main thing I did. And added some potties, even though really toddlers can't really easily go to restaurants. Because I actually tried when I was trying to get some pictures, the before pictures, I took a family with a toddler and it, um, it, didn't take the toddler with me even though I chose to take the toddler. I've even had error messages in a previous save where I tried to bring a toddler. It was like I got an error message and the, the restaurant didn't work because I tried to bring a toddler. That did not happen today when I was trying it. <laughs> but it told me that this venue was not appropriate for a toddler and was sent to daycare. So I took it and brought the toddler here. But it, it was just sort of glitchy. And then the Sims, who I was trying to take some pictures with there, they had to go to work. <laughs> so I was like, okay, forget this. But I think it could probably force it a little bit if you just brought them with. So, but this lot, other than it has the potties, it is not really meant for toddlers, <laughs> I have to say, because I didn't see the point of like putting a lot of time into having toddlers being able to go there. These change color, as does actually the wall coloring. I did that off camera because I did it at the end. It's still similar, but it's sort of like a modeled uh, stone. I tried all sorts of different ones, colors for the outside, and uh, but I just didn't, um, 
I kind of actually prefer similar color, but not exactly the same. So, and then these turn to a gray <laughs> off camera again. So, uh, and I add more, more windows there, more light. Maybe that was what the difference was because it was very bright inside when I was taking some pictures <laughs> afterwards. I noticed how bright it was. And that's uh, just the railings and the, the, when I used fences, they are from Get Famous. So they light up and they're bright. But I didn't use the Get Famous stairs because they have the backing behind. And I purposely, I didn't want that inside because I wanted to be able to put the stairs right underneath it. And so I just used the same stairs outside just to mirror it. And this out, this entrance is quite different. There was a um, fountain and the fountain interfered with me trying to get my basement in with me because that's like the, the build is really big. It takes up the majority of the lot. So when I was trying to do my trick of like going outside of the footprint so that it wouldn't raise up the foundation, there was it was right where the fountain was. So I had to get rid of the fountain and I couldn't put the fountain back. It just was the way it was. So I just left it. And so back here, I decided to add a spot for the employees to go out and be able to put the garbage right there as opposed to having to like, they had to walk all the way around and it just didn't seem to make a lot of sense. I haven't play tested it from a, uh, you know, running the restaurant perspective because that would have taken a lot of time. And I don't really run restaurants very much. I don't even actually visit restaurants very much in my game because I find it takes a really long time to um, eat at restaurants. Plus right now there's that glitch going on where the patrons steal your food, which happened to me when I was playtesting. <laughs> Came up and took my food. So I can confirm that is a thing for me too. So this I start with a very bright color, but in the end I change it to be the sort of the red woods that are upstairs. And I changed the walls inside to be a dark gray, which I can't remember if I show that because I, I was did it all and I was like, go back to take screenshots and realize I don't quite like how it looks. And so then sometimes I end up doing some changes off camera, which by that point, it's kind of a hard to like go in and record it and show it because it's sort of me like just playing around and taking a look. But the general scope, general look is the same, just that this gray is like the same brick but a darker gray because I thought it's the basement I want it to be kind of cozy and dark and like a dance room you don't want it to be this bright lit up place it just doesn't make a lot of sense to me to be so bright um as sort of a dance club type thing I did again also toy with putting the idea of putting a bar down here but I didn't because on lots when you um have a bar the bartender will only attend one bar and I did not want to, uh, I wanted to make sure that the bartender went to the one bar. And so then I thought of like, well, should I get the, get rid of the bar on the main floor and only put it downstairs. But then the bar in, one of the bars in Windenburg, the bar is sort of up and then the dance floor is down. So I thought we, I would just leave it. I'd leave the bar where it was and then just make this be about the dance floor and this games area at the back, which I only placed one llama table there, but I ended up adding a second one and a little wall to divide the, the um, area where the darts are. Not like just a half wall with a divider, the same as what I've been using here. I used it downstairs just to make it seem safer a little bit. I mean, technically, if you were really playing, the dart could go over, but it just felt like it needed a little division. So here is the entrance area. I pick up the same couch that I used upstairs, but the funny thing I realized is that the love seat is sort of a white backing whereas the couch which is, is the couch is dark and i end up getting this uh square table from get famous instead and then the flowers to go there so it's just and then a little rug that's a round rug just to sort of finish it off and then i realize that these plants are showing through <laughs> when you go down the stairs you can see the plants so i decided to get rid of them and i went with like the smaller a different version and they end up turning pink hopefully when this place is that um will go down properly because when i actually placed this because i had it in a lot where it was spring a world where it was spring and i wanted to take the pictures where it was summer because they're more bright they're more vibrant and when i placed it it uh, disappeared and then i placed it again it seemed to work so here's the old menu because i actually even changed the menu so it was all this you know experimental food which i did leave but instead of um, that, I added more. I added Plasma Jane and the Plasma Fruit Salad for if you have vampires or your vampires have something to eat. And I added some other just 
random foods just to be more variety and not just have the things that were there before. So that should also go and I also added some a lot traits to the house. So here are some before and after shots. <laughs> because like I said, the before shots are when I took a family with a toddler and the after shots are <laughs> with another family that I went that did not have a toddler. I didn't even bother the second time. Different times a day. And you can sort of see the difference in the outside. These are all the outside screenshots. So it's sort of this uh, wall covering is from fitness stuff. So which I quite like it. And it's similar, but just a little bit different. The, uh, the wall covering. And I got rid of the sign because I changed the windows and whatnot. So here's like top down like I like to do. So you can sort of see the before and after. And uh, I will also have a couple of like actual shots in live mode that you will see inside the house and then and inside the restaurant I should say and then at the end there will be just a few extra shots of the new build because there were areas that really weren't like obviously the whole basement wasn't there before uh, so I just have some screenshots of that and uh, so there was the original entrance and there is the new entrance of course different sims manning the booth different bartenders too there was the before and there is the after and um so again the before with the the little area that you went down and then the after where it's all on one floor mainly like i said because i had to add the basement because it wouldn't work and um anyways the voting for this is there'll be a link for voting i will leave it down below the voting is up until the 23rd eastern at 8 p.m and Havana is doing a uh, tour on her Twitch at 2 p.m. on the 20th, which is later today. Hopefully I get this video up. It's supposed to be up at noon. So here's some <laughs> after they, they went down and used that table. But uh, that is going. And then I also I have not quite yet put on the gallery as I'm recording this, but I will be it will be up. But here are the details of what is going to be on the gallery. You can see the lot traits there. And uh, I did use a number of packs, but maybe not as many as I sometimes use, I have to say, because they all fit on the one screen. Sometimes they don't, but that might also be because they've changed the icons and so they're smaller, perhaps. I'm not sure. But that's going to be it for this video. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye! This has been Jennifer. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos of challenge Let's Plays, tutorials, and occasional speed builds, Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks very much.